And we are back and joined by tonight's captain, Walker Zimmerman. We'll begin with questions and start with Ivis Skalarsep from SBI Soccer. Walker, congrats on the, on the victory and the performance. Uh, it's obviously, everyone's talking about the weather conditions, but it did seem like it seemed like you guys embraced that and really just went after Honduras. It seemed like it definitely hit them. Could you tell that it was overwhelming them? And, and uh, the second one on, as far as Weston goes, he's obviously been he's been outstanding this window. He's in outstanding form, but today it seems like he took it up a notch. Was it, could you tell that he was, you know, he was in line? He was going to have kind of these kind of games tonight? Yeah, I don't. To be honest, I don't think they wanted any part of that tonight. Um, you could just tell, coming out for warmups, only sitting out there starting eleven, not coming out right after the half. Um, as soon as we got that first goal, and especially the second goal, uh, we felt like we were in really good form uh, and in control of the game. Weston's playing great. Uh, he's doing really, really well. Um, amazing header from him, and you can tell that he just brings a lot of swagger to the team in the way that he kind of creates off the dribble, his flicks, his movements, um, his ability to win balls back, uh, stop transitions. He's just been all over the field and uh, is at a very good window. So uh, happy for him and, and looking forward to watching him keep his form uh, trajectory going up. We'll go to Drake Hills from the Tennessean. Yeah, what's up, Walker? Uh, Two-parter for me, a bit of a follow-up on the cold, um, more of a comprehensive question on that front. Just asking, obviously, you guys trained in it and you warm you warmed up in it and then you actually played in it. I'm curious to know if there was a different feeling. Obviously when you get later into the game maybe it's less of a factor mentally. Um, and then the second part of the question is I'm curious to know your thoughts on Kellen Acosta's particularly from the distribution offset pieces. Obviously you were able to to see the benefits of that. Yeah I think it's it's actually a lot different going from uh, training yesterday to warm ups to the game just because you're wearing extra layers you have uh, you know, protection over your ears and, and whatnot. But, um, you know, I think once you get in that game mode, you just you just are out there competing. And that's all that really matters. You, you block out everything else and focus on your task and, and your objective. So I thought we did a really good job of that as a whole. Kellen uh, had some really good service. I thought we were on the same page on a lot of set pieces. He put in some dangerous balls. And, uh, and certainly, you know, we got some goals because of his service. Next will be Sam Stasco from The Athletic. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, Walker. Congrats on the win. Um, Luca De Vittoria got his first start of qualifying tonight. Obviously, he was, you know, he got the, the Greg's man of the match honor after. What did you think of his performance, particularly how, you know, quick and decisive he seemed when he was on the ball with his decision making? He was great. Luca's a guy who is he's special on the ball. His ability to dribble, his ability to break out, uh, create transition moments for us with um, his ability to dribble at pace, and and it really hurt Honduras tonight. And I thought he. Uh, definitely had a great game and, and was confident, confident on the ball. Again, made the right decisions um, and really grew into the game as it went on. You could tell um, once he started having some successful dribbles, some successful passes, he just kind of kept growing into the game and definitely became a, a big bright spot for us there, um, especially second half. We'll go to Ryan Tomich from Goal.com. Hey, Walker, you talked a little bit about set pieces there, and, and the stat going into tonight was that you guys hadn't scored any, which is... You know, for me, a wild stack considering the guys you have in this team and yourself and Miles and Weston and all guys who could get on the end of those. Did you guys take that somewhat as a challenge sort of personally at all, the fact that you hadn't had any of those yet? And in and, and getting those tonight, how important is it to establish that as something that you guys can do and dominate as you guys kind of go forward? It always frustrates me when we don't score off set pieces because, like you said, we have a lot of threats, a lot of aerial threats who are very good uh, off of set pieces in the air and so I agree with you it's a pretty wild stat that we hadn't gotten any uh, into the back of the net and so for us to deliver tonight came at a really good time um, and you know hopefully that's something that we'll continue to work on um, continue to find connections between the service and the runs and the movements and then obviously the execution once you actually get your head or your foot on it. Next will be Jeff Carlisle from ESPN FC. Thank you Michael Hello, Walker. Um, Obviously, this was a, a tough window, conditions-wise, game-wise, to, to finish it with a result like this. I mean, how much momentum do you think this gives you heading into the last three games? Because obviously, you've got some, some difficult venues that you're going to have to go to as well. You know, I think the hope is that it gives us a lot of momentum. Um, just not because we got three points, but the way that we got three points. I thought it was a statement in the way that we competed, the way that we went about the game, went about our business. 
and definitely looked like the most dynamic performance that we've had, uh, especially this window. So hopefully we can take a lot of positives from this game, um, keep up the things that we did well and carry that into the next window and, and be ready to go uh, in Azteca. Next will be Ron Blum from the Associated Press. Hi, Walker. Thank you for doing this. How do you view the remaining three games with the two on the road and the one at home? Is it as simple as ensuring you win the home game and pick up whatever you can in the other two, or is there more than that? No, we're definitely going into to Mexico, going for three points, uh, going for a win. Um, you know, certainly... I'm sure we'll be aware of the, the points it's going to take to qualify, but you know it's one game at a time. And, and that first one against Mexico is going to be uh, important, and that's what our focus is on. So we're going to be trying to pick up max points there. We'll go to Doug McIntyre from Fox. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, Walker. You talked about how the first goal impacted Honduras. I'm curious how it helped you guys settle your nerves, obviously, you know, some pressure coming in off the left against Canada. It was huge getting the first goal. Um, it's something that we haven't been able to do early on in games enough. And you can just tell that it, it provided a big boost for us and it really hurt Honduras. Um, you know, they, they pretty much shut down uh, after we got that goal and, and we grew in confidence, we grew into the game. Um, I mentioned that swagger that, you know, our midfield three had, uh, Weston and Luca combining, Kellen spraying balls to the other side of the field and, and getting behind and getting crosses into the box. That's what we do well. That's what we did well tonight. Um, and so I think we're really happy with the way that the game played out. Next would be Paul Tenorio. Thanks, Michael. Um, yeah, kind of to build on that, um, Walker, I, there felt like a lot of tension going into this game just because of how important it was to get three points at home. How much did you guys feel that? And, and again, did that goal kind of let you settle in? And, and I wonder how long... Did it take you, and you say once you got into game mode, you didn't really feel the weather as much. How long did it take to get into game mode, considering just how cold it was? I think there was an awareness of the importance of the game, um, being aware that three points was pretty much a necessity, um, just with where we are and, and where we want to go. Um, so I think we really took that upon us um, and felt, felt that, um, not in a bad way, but just in a sense of responsibility and, and execution that needed to happen. In terms of getting into the game, I thought our warm-up was great. I thought we came out there, um, you know, making eye contact, looking at one another, getting each other engaged and saying, hey, it's, this is it. Like, we can't change anything about what's going on with the weather. We can only control what we can control. That's our, our work ethic, our intensity. And um, I thought from the first minute, I thought everyone actually uh, was in game mode. I thought we came out really sharp and um, won our duels early moved the ball quickly, got in behind early, created chances early, and uh, I think everyone was locked in from the opening whistle. Uh, we'll take our last question for Walker from Claudio Villalobos. Hey, uh, thank you, Michael. Uh, Walker, uh, Michael actually reminded us uh, uh, just a little bit earlier that the, the team is 4-1-0 and zero when you're the skipper. Uh, that really does a lot, I bet, uh, in your mind. But uh, um, you're probably one of the guys in the team that is gaining momentum as, as, as the, the, the qualifier has been going on. How's your feeling inside? I mean, uh, how, what do you feel inside? You're, you know you're going to be starting, you're going to be the skipper. Uh, what is it uh, in you that uh, allows you to, to actually have become one of the, the main players in the team? I think it starts with just desire, competitiveness, um, and that's kind of been my DNA my whole way through, is leading by, by effort and competitiveness and, and communication and making sure that on nights like tonight when your mind can sometimes wander, go other places, think about, oh, it's cold outside. It's, it's breaking guys out of those thoughts and encouraging them, pushing them forward uh, constantly on top of everyone to make sure the intensity stays at a high level. And so that comes naturally for me. Um, I take a lot of pride in representing this country, um, especially wearing the captain's armband. That is truly a, a goal of mine from a long time ago. Um, it really is a dream come true, and I don't take that responsibility lightly. So really proud uh, any time I represent this team and certainly wear the armband. Um, and so proud of, proud of the effort tonight from the entire group, and it's definitely a performance, like I said, that we can build on and, and look forward to March. Thank you, Walker. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us. Good night from St. Paul.